Hi folks, Glenn here. This is a little bonus video. I, I meant to include this um, yesterday and I forgot, so I'm adding it on. Um, I found this, I was kind of bouncing around and looking at things the other day, and I found this, uh, some features in Google Maps. This is kind of good fun. You might enjoy just having a, a little play on it. So if you just open Google Maps, it will tend to default to uh, your location, picking it up from either your phone or your computer. Um, but it's kind of interesting to go and do some searches for some interesting places. Um, so one of the first ones, we'll choose somewhere that's uh, a bit out of the ordinary. This is kind of fun. This is obviously this is Area 51, so you just type a search in here for Area 51, and you can see there's not really <laughs> a great deal here on Area 51. Um, but what is kind of a fun is obviously we can kind of go and look. Uh, we can pick our little man up down here in the bottom corner, our little stick man, or peg man I think he's called, um, and you can pick that up and you can drop him. And you can see here on Area 51, as you try to do that, it actually turns into a flying saucer. But here's the fun thing, if you try to land it, it won't land. So obviously a protected area. So that's just a little fun one, Area 51. Um, another one that is quite similar is uh, Loch Ness. If you um, go to Loch Ness and you try to have a look at Loch Ness, you'll see that um, what actually happens is as you zoom in, Oops, no, didn't mean to zoom in quite that far. Let me just go back. Let me just go back. There we go. Uh, as you zoom into Loch Ness, if you look at the little man down here in the bottom corner, as you zoom in, he changes from a little person to a Loch Ness monster. <laughs> and so you can pick up a Loch Ness monster and drag him around uh, at Loch Ness. And obviously, wherever you drop him, you can then have a little look around at that point. Okay, and there's Loch Ness behind there. So that's just a silly one. Uh, other things that you can do, which you might not kind of be aware of, is um, you could go to places like um, Venice. So if we just go to Google Maps here, let's just find it. We'll use this one again, shall we? Let's try pin Venice. Now, obviously, Venice has got lots of canals, etc. Uh, okay, and if we just zoom in here to Venice. Uh, obviously we've got streets that we can kind of walk on but obviously we've also got an awful lot of canals now we can't walk on canals but here's the thing if you take your little man pick him up and drop him on a canal what google does is make a liar of me why don't you let me just try that again there we go we dropped him on a street try that again zoom in let me just see if i can get him on a canal this time there we go, so pick up the little man and drop him on the canal. And there you go. Uh, and what it actually does is it puts you in a gondola. And if you look here, there you go, you can turn around. There you are, you've got somebody there in a boat and they are taking you around the canal. So you can actually, if you've never been to Venice or if you've never been on a gondola trip in Venice and you want to have a little walk around, then you can just sort of hop on a boat and have a little sail around Venice, which is kind of good fun. So I have been to Venice, the thing I remember about it was very expensive and very smelly. Um, so, but quite interesting. So what else have we got? Oh yes, we can also do the same with places. Uh, we've got here St. Paul's Cathedral. So we can go to St. Paul's um, and again, all you do is let's just go back. There we are, so if you find St. Paul's, do a search in there. Um, go and pick up our little man again and as you hover where there's blue that, in places that's where you can kind of drop around if you just wait a second you'll actually see little pictures appear that get tell you what's kind of in that area which can be quite useful let's uh, let's drop him about there shall we there we go and there you are that's so you can go and have a little look around st paul's cathedral if you've never been to st paul's cathedral and take photographs like this person here so good way of doing that and you can also do that with things like um the british museum and the national gallery so here we are in the national gallery i particularly like the national gallery one because you can actually go to a photograph or a picture obviously these are paintings and as you click on the painting little blue dot there tells you what the painting is called and also brings up a close-up and uh, the history of that painting so that's kind of cool and you can also walk through various rooms and look at 
different paintings. And if you use your mouse wheel, you can zoom in and zoom out. And there is also an option here to view in HD. That'll just load a, there you go, a high resolution version so that you can go and have a look at that. Kind of neat. There we go. So we'll go back on that one. That's the National Gallery. Uh, and likewise, the British Museum. You can have a little wander around the British Museum if that's something that you've uh, never done before. And go around corners, here we go. Have a look at uh, the various things in the British Museum. And on a similar uh, topic, there's also places that you may not have been. So we've got Alcatraz just here, Alcatraz at Highland. Uh, again, you just pick up the little man. This is kind of an interesting one, I quite like this one. Uh, I have been to Alcatraz Island quite some years ago. Uh, but there you go, you can actually have a look at it as it is now. Obviously there's a kind of museum-y thing. <laughs> That's interesting. The guy's got his stick through there doing a selfie. Oh, it's a TV crew by the looks of it. Um, sometimes you can get through a door. Oh, there you go, we did on that occasion. And sometimes you can't. There we are outside. But, uh, there we go. We have a little look around Alcatraz. There we go, into the cells. There we are, and we're in the cell, bo cell block. Sometimes you can kind of get through, and other times you can't. Okay, so that is Alcatraz. Uh, what else did we find? Um, oh yes, uh, we did that one. Alcatraz, St Paul's. Um, Oh, the other one that I did find that was kind of interesting was um, this one here. This is Ashimi Island. Ashimi Island is uh, just off the coast near to Nagasaki. It was a, a mining town which was abandoned. And apparently this was actually used in the film uh, Skyfall as a sort of set. Uh, it's kind of interesting just to kind of wander around here and have a look. Let me just pop out to go back out and just come back in somewhere else so there we go zoom in a wee bit okay so wherever there's these lines you can drop yourself so let's drop ourselves in this area here shall we there's lots going on there there you go so you can see it's all really abundant and, and obviously quite dangerous lots of wooden debris around but you can actually walk <laughs> how the guy did it you kind of walk along these uh, corridors and things stepping over stuff and having a look at this abandoned island which is uh you know like a post-apocalyptic world it's can imagine it's used as a film set uh, quite often and it's actually a tourist attraction and there is actually a website um that sort of text uses this technology the google maps technology um to uh, to sort of show you around uh, the island and also there's some eerie music on that and sort of thing. I think that's ashimiisland.co.uk. I think that is. Um, but yeah, so kind of a few little, just a few little bonus things in there um, for you. If you've never really played with Google Maps, uh, there's lots of things it can kind of do. But I think this thing about being able to have a look around places that maybe you've never visited before is quite interesting. So, okay, that was a little bonus thing I meant to mention. I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you again next week. All the best. Bye.